Okay. Okay. Uh, I would advise, first thing, go ahead and turn that precision control on your caps lock. And throttle up to 100. Um, the control surface, you've got you've, you've got the same WASD. Uh, the, the pitch and the roll works exactly the same as for the rockets. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch and immediately pitch forward and try to get this thing into level flight. Just try to be level with the horizon as soon as I clear the tower. Pitch forward. Okay, and that's more or less horizontal. Move the camera around a little bit where I can see what I'm doing. What I'm doing right now is I'm just making regular taps on pitching up. Uh, regular uh, taps on S. Just tap up, up. Okay, uh, now it's probably best, I think that this kind of airplane, it, it'll probably handle best, say, around a uh, third throttle to a half throttle. You don't really need full thrust. It's not really doing a whole lot for you. Okay, now here we are, just practicing, moving in a straight line, trying to stay more or less horizontal. Um, yeah, just regular... Just tap on tap on S and let it go, tap on it and let it go, and you'll kind of porpoise along, oscillating with your with your altitude. Uh, when it comes time to turn, uh, this you have to think a turn aircraft, you don't really like to turn with the yaw too much. Let me see, I'll practice a little bit, see if I hit yaw a little bit there. That's kinda ugly. See it just kind of wobbles around. Oops, let's get, get over this hill. The way to turn in an airplane is I'm just going to hit the roll just a little bit, which, say, put it about a 45 degree angle there, and pitch back a little bit, just enough. You, you want the nose, if you're taking a look at the nav ball, just to keep it just barely over the horizon, you know, like 10, 20 degrees, no more than that, until it turned around, point in the direction that you want, roll back the other way. Small moves, small, gentle moves. Aircraft of all sorts uh, don't really respond well to very large, abrupt control movements. Uh, it's the uh, it, it's difficult with a keyboard, but the slowest, the slower, and the more fluid you can make the movements, uh, control movements with with an, an aircraft, the better it will respond. Remember that this is a, ve a vehicle that's traveling through a fluid. You want your movements to be as fluid as possible. So the way to do that, the keyboard is just small taps. You don't really want to ever hold any of these buttons down. Okay, let's go ahead and fly back. Let's roll again to the left a little bit. And I'll just move this camera around. Okay, now let's talk about landing. Once I get this thing pointed in the right direction, roll wings level with the horizon, and let's throttle back. Oops, throttle back, I said. Wrong button. <laughs> okay, one way to think about landing. It's, it's slightly counterintuitive. Think of this that your goal in landing the airplane is not to fly it into the ground. Your goal in landing the airplane is to fly close to the ground as slowly as you possibly can and just wait for the airplane to land itself. So I'm taking a look at my surface speed. Uh, in this game, your surface speed meters measured in meters per second. If you contact the ground moving, say, 50, 60 meters per second, quite often it's going to explode into a fireball, no matter what you do. You want it slower than that. The way to do that is keep on taking a look at what I'm doing with the pitch. Just regular, just keep pressing it back, pressing it back, pitching back some more, and just letting go of the pitch for just a little bit. As it slows down, I need to hold the pitch key down more and so I'm only just releasing it just tiny little taps just uh, releasing it for tiny little you know fraction of a second breaks and we're going to try to just allow the airplane to contact the ground when it's good and ready 
And, we can, and if you want to keep it straight in the landing roll, just use the yaw button a little bit there. Yeah, that's simple. See, uh, as slow as you possibly can, as smooth as you possibly can, allow the airplane to settle down when it's ready. Um, if you try to drive the airplane down and force it onto the ground when it's going too fast, before the airplane is ready to land, that's when you get a crash, that's when you get a fireball. Take off a simple, throttle up, get moving, pitch back. And there you are, you're moving. Uh, this design, here, let's a little more throttle. It will remain stable here. Let's grab some altitude. I want to demonstrate something here. Still just small, small tips, small taps on the controls, small changes. Moving up, coming up to two kilometers, and it'll still be totally controllable. If you do, if you just just want to roll a little bit, do a little aileron roll. It'll see. It'll keep on pointing almost exactly the same direction. That's how stable this thing is. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that it. it the airplane will remain controllable as you gain altitude. It will become slightly more difficult. So you can see it's kind of shimmying around the yaws as I'm approaching this five kilometer mark and it's starting to yaw around a little bit and having to tap on the controls a little bit more. So the effect becomes more pronounced as it climbs above 6,000. Whereas, and see, the higher you go, the more unstable the airplane goes. It's getting to the thinner atmosphere where there's the the control surfaces on this vehicle have less and less effect the, the higher you go let's see so that, that's going to come in later tutorials is how to get this thing up into the, the upper atmosphere and how to remain control as, as you can as you can fly this thing into orbit and come back I just want to demonstrate yeah, but around 8,000 meters, that's about the, as high as you want to go in just regular flight until, you're, you, get, until you get uh, saltier, until you get some more practice in and get more comfortable with, hand, with handling the vehicle. Let's drop down and get back into, uh, say, especially below 5,000. That's where the air is nice and thick and you get real, real good control service. Yeah, I pitched back way too much there. Uh, real good response out of all the controls. Ooh. Careful, careful. Slow, slow. This would be so much easier with a joystick instead of the keyboard. <laughs> oh, okay. Now let's try and see if I can put this on the runway this time. In, in learning to, to control an airplane, in this game and in, in any other games, uh, a, a whole lot of it entails um, you have to learn to think ahead, think about where the airplane is going to be. You want to start steering. You don't steer according to where the airplane is. You steer according to where the airplane will be in a couple of, in, in the either seconds or minutes or even hours ahead, but depending on what kind of flying you're doing. Um, you always want to make all your control movements uh, much slower than you than you may originally think that they need to. It's, I mean, it's 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 not a car. It's not a car where you're just cranking over on the steering wheel when you get in. in the harder you turn on the on the steering wheel, and the, the the sharper turn you get out of it. Uh, remember that an airplane it's traveling in in a medium that is more slippery than ice think think of driving a car on an on an icy road and how very gently you want to ease into all the turns that's that's really how you want to uh, control an airplane good because it is slipping over over a, or a very very slippery surface it's more slippery than water all the time 
And if you, and you try to force it, then it'll it'll spin out, and uh, yeah, you, you'll, air, your nose will no longer be pointing in the, in the direction of travel. You will no longer have air moving across the control surfaces in the correct direction, and it'll go out of control, crash, and die. So you don't want that. So slow, gentle. If if you think if you uh, say you want to make a ninety degree turn, then you want to make very you don't just um, you know do, do one of those and that gets all sloppy. Uh, that's seeing you barely ended up only turned forty five degrees and just uh, was barely controllable. If you just roll a little bit, small taps, roll a little bit more, and ease into the turn. And then ease, and then once it's pointing about the direction you want, you ease out of the roll. Let's see if we can put this on the runway. I, I would advise, actually, for your first, um, in your first attempts, uh, your first practice runs with with landing aircraft in this game, just ignore the runway. We've got this this whole level square of ground all around Kerbal Space Center. It's very nice and flat. It's a, it's perfectly easy to, to land on. Uh, just land just land anywhere because the the runways that's that's adding more complication you really don't need. But when it comes time you want to, so you want to start the turn before you're lined up with it. And start to roll out before you're lined up with it. Okay. Kill that throttle. Oh, see, I'm, I'm not even lined up with it. Uh, trying to show off and got it wrong. Woohoo! It is, it's no joke that landing in this game is tricky. Because these things, the the aircraft, the way the codes is written, the, the the aircraft gets so much lift at such slow air speeds, and it can be difficult to see that ground coming up. I think I'm going to run off the end of the runway. That's all right. Okay, here we are below 30, getting slow enough now that I'm spending more time pitching back and less time off of the the pitch key. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not going to worry about the runway. <laughs> runway is real short for these aircraft, I'll tell you that much. And just allow the airplane to settle down when it's ready. That simple. Yeah, this design, Trainer 1, which I showed you how to put together, uh, because it has these wings, uh, the, the lifting surfaces all along the fuselage, uh, it's got lift at the front, it's got lift at the back, it's got lift in the middle. It will handle pretty much the same as you burn fuel. As it loses mass and as the, the center of gravity moves backwards, as it, as, it burn, as it empties these tanks, it'll still handle pretty much the same. Uh, it's, you know, slightly more responsive when it's all the fuel, as more of the fuel is gone. Anyway, yeah, there he is. Trainer 1. I recommend just just put it together, play around with it, practice, have fun, uh, and then maybe come back later, and I'll be doing some more tutorials of some of the next steps, some of the things you can do with the C7 pack in this game. So thank you very much for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.